What's going on everyone, it's Raseem here from Hands and Smiles. Thank you for joining me on another fragrance related video. So guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of a fragrance from the house of Parfums de Mali. The fragrance I'm reviewing today is Herod. Now Herod was released in the year 2012 and is classified as a woody spicy. The nose behind this fragrance, and I'm going to butcher the name unfortunately, I'm uh, very sorry about that, is Olivia Preschek. Uh, now I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but I've given it my best shot. So here's been the nose behind other fragrances such as One Million, where he collaborated with other perfumes, and he's also been the nose behind Mont Blanc Legend. And he's also been the nose behind a signature fragrance uh, from the popular soccer or football player Zlatan Ibrahimovic, uh, which I believe the fragrance is called Zlatan Por Arm. Anyways, guys, let's move over to the notes of Herod by Parfums de Mali. So, guys, the top note, uh, top notes consist of pepper and cinnamon. The heart of the fragrance is osmanthus, tobacco, labdanum, and incense. And the base of the fragrance is vanilla, cedarwood, vetiver, isoe super, and musk. So guys, what do I get on my skin from Herod? For me, this opens up quite watery, uh, has a water-like quality, and quite a fruity vibe as well. I definitely get a heavy dose of tobacco leaf and vanilla, but also get this quite ambery sort of a apricot sort of vibe. And it's very, very fruity and water watery, guys. Uh, and it has a orangey ambery feel to me on my skin. After the fragrance develops, the this vibe is definitely into the uh, into the background, guys. Don't really get much of the apricot fruitiness, and the tobacco still carries on. Uh, but the fragrance becomes a lot more sweeter. The vanilla really starts becoming the most prominent note in this fragrance, and you also get a touch of cinnamon and pepper as well. Into the dry down guys, this fragrance starts to disappoint me a little bit. The tobacco really takes a back seat uh, and it's hard to notice on my skin guys. Uh, into the dry down, the main notes I get is the vanilla added with the cinnamon and the pepper. Uh, overall, this is a very, very warm and sweet fragrance guys and it's absolutely gorgeous. I really, really do uh, love the dry down of the scent and the scent in my opinion is gorgeous. Oh yeah, it's definitely a beautiful, gorgeous scent, guys. Now, let's move over to the performance. And this is really, really the area where this uh, this fragrance is let down, guys. Longevity was around 6 to 8 hours. It really didn't last that long. And if you talk about the notes of this fragrance, such as the vanilla, the tobacco, uh, cinnamon and pepper, you really feel like this fragrance will last a long time. If you think about other sweet tobacco-based fragrances, they really last a long time on your skin, such as Pure Havan, Tobacco Vini, Tobacco Rouge. These fragrances just really last on your skin, but Herod really only lasted six to eight hours on my skin. Performance was average for the first three to five hours, guys, and after which it's just really, really uh, a subtle scent, guys. It sits a lot closer to your skin. It really doesn't push out there massively. It's quite a subtle scent, guys. Uh, performance for me was very disappointing. Uh, it's quite a soft skin scent overall, guys. As far as seasons, Herod Parfums by Parfums de Miley is a fragrance which is suited to the winter, guys. Uh, and I feel it best suited to nighttime. And as far as occasions, due to this being quite a subtle scent, I feel this is a beautiful and brilliant choice as a date scent. Uh, I really feel as it's not overpowering and I've said the, the scent itself is gorgeous. I really feel like you're going to uh, get a lot of compliments and appreciation from the uh, from the opposite sex in a close quarter date situation. As it's not very overpowering, you're not going to choke her out with your fragrance. This is a great choice for a date situation. Overall rating for me is going to be a 3.5, uh, it's going to be 3 out of 5 guys. I feel like the scent itself is excellent. You get gorgeous tobacco in the opening stages of the fragrance, but it's slightly let down where the tobacco really doesn't last into the dry down for me. It's a gorgeous sweet scent. Uh, it's very warm and cozy, and it has a touch of yumminess as well. Uh, this fragrance leans slightly towards the gourmand side for me as well. I feel it works well in the colder months, uh, and the performance was just lacking, guys. It's very subtle scent, and for me, it's going to be a three, uh, three out of five. 
So guys, that was my review of Herald by Perfumes de Mali. If you've liked this video, then make sure to leave me a like and a comment below. And guys, make sure to subscribe. If you haven't, then make sure you do. Until next time, my friends, see you later.